Ooh, what's up guys? My name is Luke. I am the Offensive Yuck. And as you can see, we just got the next level of blueprinting, allowing us to do up to 500 items at a time, up from the 150 we were at last episode. So that means we can continue on to our next uh little section of this and while we're at it i'd also like to go ahead and upgrade to this we are going to need that we're also going to want this uh we'll hold off on the drones for now but we're actually going to have to tear down a whole bunch of this in order to fit it in so let's roll the intro and get on into this All right, guys, thank you for joining me. Uh, this is episode five of the Dyson Sphere program. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. Uh, and like I said, we have to tear a bunch of this down. So tear this down and this, this, these things, this, and we need to cut these back to here. Okay, and I think I need to cut this back by one as well. Okay, that should be what we need to do in order to fit this in. Okay. Yeah, it looks like that'll fit. Boom. Needs foundation support. Collide with object. Uh, okay, so let's get some foundation support going on out here. Um, I think that's going to be enough. I hope that's enough. So that's pretty much all I've got uh, without having to make some more. I wasn't prepared for the foundation aspect of it. Uh, it looks like that's going to be enough, though. Okay. Yeah, we'll just put it. Here, it's colliding because it's they're the wrong uh, type. It's set to do... Uh, here. All right, so we're going to downgrade all of this. It's set to do level two belts and stuff instead of level one, which is what I'm still on. We'll get to level twos here shortly, but we're still level one for now. All right, so first things first, we'll connect here. And here, 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 and here. That one, I'm not entirely sure what is supposed to be going on that one. And then here we'll connect the lower and the upper. Looks like I need a sorter. And probably some assemblers. And then I think I need to bring some more stuff in on the other side. We'll find out. So in between episodes, I let my game idle for a while, uh, which allowed me to... Uh, get a bunch of research done and uh, build up some of the resources here. But it also... 
uh, give me the time to extend these lines out. So our copper and our silicon lines, we just extended them straight out because they are for this section over here. I think I'm going to need some more sorters before this is done. Uh, which are all the way back here. And yeah, that should do. If I was smart, I would have looked and saw what I needed first, but that's okay. Uh, now I'm not entirely sure what's supposed to be going into this one here. It looks like it doesn't have anything going into it. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder. I wonder what's up with that. I think I remember Neil Aus in his video saying that there was something he wanted to put there, but he couldn't figure out the belts for it. That could be what it's for. All right, so we've got these guys. Needs Tesla Towers. Okay, so that's what I need this for, for to get Tesla Towers in here. Which we're actually going to use our logistics drones in order to do here shortly. Yes. Now it looks like, so I definitely have the circuit boards still coming this way. But do my magnetic rings stop? They do right here. Interesting. Okay. So if I'm going to do a blue science center, I'm probably going to have to either pull them from earlier on in or something. I wonder what this one is supposed to be. I do wish it would give you an indication of what the recipe is, even if you don't have that recipe unlocked. Because now I'm going to have to go back to the video and I'm going to have to see what it was. How are we on power? We're doing just fine on power. Okay. So, it looks like gears are not making it down here. They're on this upper belt. So, that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be gears. Well, the gears are here. At this splitter. So, I think we can fix this. Uh, we're going to... Come out here. Oh, not that much there. Okay, and then I want to... Yeah. That'll have gears coming out. And then we need to get them over to this one. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to X that, and then... There. That should connect to that. Okay, so gears are making their way down. Okay. 
Then this line is supposed to be copper or no, no, no. That line underneath is copper and it is, okay. This line up here or over here is our circuit boards, good. So what is this line? This line is supposed to be our Tesla stuffs. Okay, let's see if that is functioning. It is, they're just all getting taken for now, which is fine. Um, in fact, here, have a few more. Uh, not those. This. Can have these, okay. Uh, so this is proliferators, which needs monocrystalline components, which are being made here. And where are they coming out? Uh, they're going directly into here, mostly. Uh, but this is getting some, it's just missing these plasma exciters, okay. So those will get to it eventually. This guy is using that stuff to make solar panels. I'm not sure what these ones are supposed to be making yet. Uh, we will have to figure that out. Okay, in the meantime, I wanna get my science back up and running, which means I need to get access to this and this, both of which are full. So we are still making plenty. Um, hmm. I don't know that there's going to be an easy way with this jumble of conveyor belts. I don't know that there's an easy way to get to these. Hmm. Well, we have a couple of options here. I would need a line of iron. And a line of copper. But I could make a whole new section of it. Now, copper, I could bring in a line from here. Iron, I could probably bring in a line from there. I could... I could even come off of this line here for iron. Uh, yeah. I bet I could. Although this one's not even using all of it anyways. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. And then we'll just, we'll bring another line of copper. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go grab copper, get it going. I feel like the music just like stopped. It seems way quieter than usual. Yeah, six each should be plenty. I'm definitely gonna need some more uh, belts here. All right, let's run back and grab some belts real quick. There we go. And then I'm actually going to 
place down what I need. Hmm, where are we gonna put it? Do we wanna put it down here, maybe? Yeah, I think that's gonna be our best spot to put it. Yeah. Okay, so, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cannibalize this right here. Mm-hmm. Is that all we need? In that case, we can actually probably do it up here. Yeah. This'll work. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here. And yeah, I know I'm not letting my drones catch up in between these. Uh, okay, so I want to tap into this line here. So we're gonna put a sorter in, but we're gonna have to put it over this way. It can't be quite too close. In and out. And out. This way. And then we're just gonna tell the sorter to prioritize that direction. So it will make steel for me. And then if we have more, it will come down here. And then what I'm also gonna do Hmm. Yeah, that should get me enough. There we go. So we gotta do this because we need our blue science so that we can continue to progress because that's what this game is all about. It's about making these science cubes so that you can progress and unlock new technologies, thus making everything better and more efficient. Eventually, hopefully next week sometime, we're gonna tear this whole thing down <laughs> and put in brand new hubs um, to make everything. Um, but we need to get to our logistic systems before we can do that so that we don't have to drag belts everywhere. We can wirelessly do all of it. I do need to go make sure I got... I didn't bring the copper all the way over, did I? Nope. I haven't even finished building this belt. And I'm almost out of power. We're going to go ahead and go down this way for this. And we'll go to here, and then we're going to go up a level, and go over, and then we're going to go down a level, here, there we go, okay, oh, I'm out of power. So let's come over here, let's build up my chargers 
The reason I use three of them, like one of them will charge me just fine, but three of them charges me three times as fast. Just makes it a whole lot easier. Wow, are we really 20 minutes into this episode already? My goodness. Time flies when you're building new stuff. <laughs> so you'll notice that when I build stuff, it is definitely not as clean, as compact, or as efficient uh, as when I use blueprints. That's one of the reasons I use blueprints so much. It's because there are people that are just way better at this than me. Uh, way better at designing um, these super compact, efficient um, factories and machines. And why not just build upon their work, you know? They put it out there for all of us to use. Why not use it? Uh, yeah. And in fact, um, you guys should know there is a website. Let me actually pull it up here. Uh, you won't be able to see it, but I can at least tell you what the website is. Uh, it's a repository of a bunch of blueprints, searchable blueprints, uh, which is awesome. So it's called DysonSphereBlueprints.com. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty nice and easy. And it has thousands of blueprints uh, for just all types of things. Um, everything from... You know, this setup down here is actually from that website. Um, this is where I got the blueprint for this. You'll find blueprints for everything else. And, and while we haven't really used many of them yet in this playthrough, we will be. Um, some of my favorite blueprints are on there. Uh, there's one, I forget who it is. Uh, let's see. Do I have it saved? Yes. Uh, it's a user by the name of Ambush Bug, and uh, makes some really cool stuff, um, like the Planet Paver, um, which is just ridiculous. Uh, so the planet paver, it's a factory that makes foundations so that you can pave things, but it has enough storage and throughput that it can hold enough foundations to pave an entire planet in one go, which is just mind boggling. Um, it is from, let's see, do they say what it's from? I know it's from their FFF line, which stands for something. I forget what. Uh, fetchingly fast furnishment for blueprint barons. Uh, yeah, it's it's amazing just what they've accomplished. So uh, we'll definitely be building off of their work here in the future. Okay, need one more of those. All right, cool. So this should be making stuff for me here. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take, uh -huh, yes, these out this way. And then we're gonna take these. No, I wanna take these out this way there we go and let's see where do we want to go with them so our red science is coming out over here so I figure we'll probably want our science center to be somewhere like here okay so we'll do One, two, three, four sets. 
And again, this is just temporary. In fact, we'll probably only use this for blue and red. Um, and then I'm going to want... Probably... We'll just go with four again, because I've got enough of them that I can do it. These four are going to be producing blues. And then... We'll have it extract blues here and pump them out over to here. And then this will be the reds coming in here. Which means we're going to want one set of items coming in here and one set coming in on the back side. Okay, now the question is, do I go up and around or do I just go over? And I think the answer is we go over. So we're going to go to here, we're going to go up a level, to here, down a level, here, boom. And then this guy will go to here, up a level, to here, down a level, to here, And in. And I'm not going to put any storage buffer on them. I don't need storage on them. So. Now I need to get power. Here and here, I think we'll hit them all. Hopefully. So this is going to be producing blue. And I want to shift C. There we go. Oh, yeah, we need to put uh, sorters on these, don't we? I could have done it on one and then copied and pasted, but whatever. Uh, and then we want sorters going in here. Ooh, no. Here and here. Uh, except we're going to need one of them to not be there. Because... We need one to be able to come out onto here. There we go. And, oh, I need some more of these. Uh, looks like I can make some. Yeah, that'll work. Well, actually, I should have some engines right here. How about a hundred of them? There. Okay. The reason I'm using Mark IIs is because, well, I'm limited on the inputs and whatnot. And these are high volume items. For instance, we need like 600 for this next... Uh, research we're about to do. There, and then I need power. Here. And here. Should reach everything. Theoretically. Now, I need to bring... The red science in. Right here. Boom. All right. 
right, here it comes. That should be good. And those guys aren't running because, well, we're full on blue for now. Uh, we won't be eventually, though. Okay, that should be working. Let's go check my supply, make sure I've got enough. We may want some more iron. I wonder which of these... It looks like this one on the left is being used more. It'd be tough to tap into the one on the right, though. I think what I can do instead is if I go back here to where we're pulling this one from, we're pulling it from up here, I think I might be able to just add one more guy. Here. Okay. And that'll just fill in any gaps we have. Hopefully. Either that or we consider doing some proliferation. I do have a vein of coal right here. I could proliferate all of these. Pretty easy. But for now, it seems that we're making plenty of the stuff to keep up with the blue science. And hey, we're already almost 600 science in. Oh, that's crazy. And awesome. Uh, that means we're gonna have our next research here very soon. Okay, so let's see what all is being put into these guys. This one's getting steel. It's also getting copper. And it's getting something here. I'm going to have to look at his video and see. Because I know that these guys are supposed to be requesting things from further down the line. But now that we have our logistics drones... That we can make these distributors. I need some of these. So let's get four of them. That should work for now. And then I need some of these guys, which I need iron ingots for. Okay, that's totally doable. We'll just head down here, grab a little bit of iron. I don't like manually crafting stuff, but uh, it's all right for now. Uh, motors, the level two motors specifically. I bet you one of those is supposed to be making the level two motors, isn't it? Hmm. I'll be right back. I'm going to go check his video, go check Nilaus's video and see what all is supposed to happen here. Okay, looks like I finished crafting these logistics distributors. And so this one is going to be for the photon combiner, which we do not currently have researched. So we should probably research that right now. Uh, I believe it's here. Yes, Photon Combiner. All right. And then... Let's see. Anything else we're going to need? We're going to want this. And this. Uh, deuterium, sure. Hydrogen fuel rods, yes. The level three... Yes. Okay. And 
and hey, we're already like <laughs> halfway through. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, titanium isn't really necessary right now. Where is the yellow science at anyways? Here? No, that's purple. Yellow. Hmm, here it is, structure matrix. Okay. Uh, yeah, I could work my way towards that. That'll work for now. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, I need to get this one done. The photo or photon frequency conversion. Uh, and it looks like it is almost done. So, that's what this one's going to be going for. And uh, I should have a few drones here. And we're going to be requesting... This one will be requesting as well. And so will this one. Also, I should look and see what's it gonna take for me to make some more of these. I need some more of these, which needs some more of those. Okay. Do we really not have the green motors being produced here at all? We've got to. Do we really not? Well, we need them for this. That must be what's gonna be going into here, but that should mean that we're then making them down this way somewhere. Also, we need to put a hat on this one. This one's going to be getting us Tesla Towers. There we go. Maybe this is the green motor? Hmm, we'll see. Okay, so back down here, this guy is going to be getting us photon combiners. And then somewhere photon combiners are being made and I wanna say it's here that we're making photon combiners. Let's look. This one, no, it's not this one. This one doesn't have anything going into it. So unless I messed up when pasting, which, uh, let's face it, is entirely possible. Hmm. Could it be? So, the glass one is going into there, because what do we need for the photon combiner? Two of these glass triangles and a circuit board. Well, we've got circuit boards here, but we don't have any of the glass triangles. They're being made here, but they're being just immediately put into here. Hmm. I'll be right back. Okay, I figured a few things out. I handcrafted a few more things. We're ready to continue. All right, so uh, I handcrafted a few more of these transportation hats, the logistic distributors, uh, so that we could do some stuff. But uh, first things first, we do not currently have anywhere producing photon combiners. Now, this is gonna be a little tricky uh, to pull off here. I need to bring in these guys. Okay. Now, the good news is this is actually producing a decent amount and don't I have, I do, I have the ability to make higher level ones. I just don't have 
Any graphene. We'll deal with that later. Um, I can always upgrade this one later. Um, so we're gonna do that. We're also gonna put a storage here and I want it limited to one spot. And we are gonna put a hat on it so that it can be accessed. It's going to have these guys. But we need to get can, uh, these guys into it. Uh-huh. So, how are we going to do that? Well, I'll tell you how. We're going to pull it here. I think this is going to work. Let's find out. Yes. And then we'll put another set here. Going to here. And we're gonna go across that way. And then in. And the reason I'm using the upgraded ones here is because of the distance. It's gonna take it longer, so. Okay, that should be now making these. Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay. So we've got those guys. And this has some logistics drones in it. And it should... Oh, if I go set that up properly. This guy here can provide. And we should actually see them. There they are. The fidget spinner is coming to pick up some of them and take them back. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at the other things that I've set hats up on. This one, the motor. Okay. I'm going to have that be available to provide. Uh, we should also see, let's see, Tesla towers. I need to put one on top of here and... Boom, available. And over here, you'll see I put one on top of the magnetic rings here. And available. And the reason I put it on here and the motor is those are needed to make the level two motors, uh, which we will then be also needing. And apparently I am just about out of energy. Lovely. Uh, let's see. Where can I get some more? Well, here for the real quick, I can grab a little bit. Oh no, I've got a whole storage box of graphene over here, don't I? Or graphite. Yes. There we go. Okay, much better. So now we are, this one should be requesting, yes. Uh, it just doesn't have any of the fidget spinners in it yet because I don't have enough stuff to make more of them. Uh, here. All right, so this one is supposed to be requesting the electromagnetic turbines. Problem is we're not making electromagnetic turbines anywhere. So we need to do that. Um, and I think we're gonna make it just right over here. This looks good. And we're gonna put Storage here and here. Hat on each. Okay. And over here, I actually want to not have this be automatic. Uh huh. It's got two in it currently. Let's grab one. There we go. 
All right, I want one in there. This guy, no, you don't need 10. You get one. Where'd they go? Oh, okay, back in here. I want one in here. And this guy already got 10 as well. You get one. Okay. I just, I don't have enough of them to put a whole bunch into the system like that right now. Okay, this guy can have one of these. And so can this guy. Okay, this one's going to be pulling in motor level ones. This guy is going to be pulling in the coils here. It looks like one route out of range. So we are going to do that. Okay. Uh, so it's bringing those in, and then we can go from here to here, and from there to here. This should then be able to make turbines, which we can then output here. And then if we just put a hat on top here, it will then be able to... distribute over to that one that's requesting. Perfect. So there's our green turbines all set up. Not a single conveyor belt. That is amazing. <laughs> and once we get these up and running, like it is going to be awesome. So... Yeah, these, these rings are a long ways over here, aren't they? Hmm. I wonder if there's anywhere we could put a storage box with a little bit of them a little closer. They end here. So it'd have to be like right here. Is there room to put a storage box? No, there's not. We could do another thing like this with it. We totally could do that, actually. And we're gonna. I'm actually going to move this whole thing right here. We're just gonna move it over here. All right, so production, we want one of these. We want a storage here and here. Logistics, we want one going out here, one going in here. And then conveyor here. Conveyor here. Boom, boom. In. This one gets a hat. It gets one of these. It's going to request the motors. It's going to request. This one's also going to get a hat to provide these guys. And this is going to make these guys. That should do it. Okay, there we go. There is our very temporary early game green motors going. Uh, the reason that I wanted to get the green motors going so quickly is because the green motors are actually what's needed to make these fidget spinners. And I want it to make some. <laughs> so that I don't have to make them myself. 
this guy here. Not sure what it's supposed to be making. Possibly the chemical plant. Uh, I'm looking. Uh, you know, I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be making. Uh, wouldn't it be something with... No. So this... Okay, this one's supposed to be making the geothermal, which I don't have access to yet anyways. Um, so that's fine. Uh, because this is going to make need the super magnetic rings. Yep. Okay. So let's unlock a few more things. Uh, proliferator 2. I want the super magnetic rings. Okay, that gave me a little bit more range on the fidget spinners there, the one that we just did. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, here's the geothermal, so we can actually get that going. So that we can make it, and yeah, it requires super magnetic rings, which of course we're not producing yet, but hey, we can at least get it all set up. Uh, yeah. This is the mini fusion structure matrix. Okay. Okay. Um, I am going to try and figure out what goes in each of these spots and then I shall be back with you guys and then we're going to close up the episode. All right. So guys, while I was doing all of this, I saw a little bit of a flicker in my system. Uh, yeah, it turns out we're not making anywhere near enough power right now. <laughs> we're at 62% power. You, uh, so we need more power. <laughs> uh, we need lots more power. So uh, I think the easiest place for me to check on power is actually gonna be up here at our very first coal production plant. Uh, should be way up here. Just cause I've got, I've got room here and whatnot. Okay. So let's see, how are we coming? Well, looks like I can expand this uh, quite a bit actually. It looks like I can expand this. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, I don't have any foundation, so we're gonna have to do it over here. Um, let's start by putting some more of these guys. Oh, it needs foundation. Let's see, can I sneak it in without the foundation? Can I sneak in just enough foundation support to do it? <laughs> uh, let's find out. Yes, I can. Good. Here. Here. Now, eventually, we'll get access to the advanced miner, which is uh, really nice. But we don't have it yet, so. Okay. Okay, this guy can come out. Are we even using this one? Or did I just put this one in? I may have just put this one in. Okay, so this one will come out and around. This one can go into the line with it. And then this one we're gonna do in a separate line. And we'll 
connect this one and this one to it, because this one's not actually hooked up to that many veins anyways. Also, while we're at it, I want to... run four more of these. Here. And then this will run here and over. And we'll do... this. Hopefully you guys are getting an idea for how I like to uh, think and build when doing these. Uh, see. There we go. Then we can go ahead and stick. We can actually get rid of this real quick because we're going to copy this here. And then we'll copy this one here. We should be able to do a fourth on each of these rows as well. There we go. And then we're also going to do this. In fact, we're going to get rid of that. I don't need to store it over here right now. Okay, so that's using up all of the coal from that. And then we're going to basically replicate this section here. Uh, in fact, I want to do this. Yeah. And we'll place it there. And there. Okay. And then all I gotta do... Is hook this up. Here and here. Hmm. I hear a little bit of clicking in my headphone. I wonder if that's uh, audio being bugged or render lag or what. Uh, let's let's build this first one first, because, you know, first. <laughs> I'm also out of these. I can make ten more, though. Normally, I like to have things a little bit more prepared, you know, with blueprints and whatnot, but... Uh, yeah, when you start getting low on power, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. And it looks like I was wrong about being able to put a fourth one on there. So it's three sets of three, it looks like. Alright, and then... We'll go ahead and bring in here. One set. And not what I wanted. One, 
two, three. Collides with another object. What's it colliding with? Ah, uh, it's because of the curvature of the Earth. <laughs> or the, the planet, whatever you want to call it. Let's make sure we're connected again. We are. Hey, we're up to 80%. We're doing better. All right. Let's see. Can I put another one of these in here? Oh, it's not. It's colliding with the the vein down here. So we're only going to be able to put two deep on these. I might be able to sneak one in here. Yes. And then as far as this one goes, we're just going to... We're going to Hail Mary this here. We're going to run it this way three sets three deep there we go and then I need to, well, first we can do that. And for some reason, did I not have enough sorters? No, I've got sorters. Oh, yep. Cause I copied and pasted the sorter down where there was not yet a conveyor belt. That'll do it. All right, now let's hook up the rest of this coal so that it can actually be producing enough stuff. And we'll get some solar panels going here in probably the next episode. Uh, they should actually be producing. Uh, all right, good. Coal's coming there. Coal's coming there. All right, burn all the fossil fuels here. Yes. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Hey, we're hitting 90% satisfaction. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Compared to the, like, high 40% we were in. <laughs> oh, we were not doing good there, guys. Okay. We're up into the 90s. Mid-90s. Mm-hmm. 100%. All right. Good. Good. Now that we're 100%, hopefully we'll be good. Now, I can't add anything else without addressing our our problems here. Um, yeah, we're going to have to put in some solar or something. Um, hit up some more coal veins. Yeah, we're going to have to do something. Some proliferation, maybe. I mean, there's another coal vein there that I could hit. Um, we got a whole coal vein here that I haven't touched. I just don't have a lot of space right there. But that's going to be it for today. We at least fixed our power problem. <laughs> and uh, in addition to that, hey, we got our fidget spinners making. In fact, let's, now that it's been a little bit, let's go see how we're doing over here. Um, we've got some of these guys. I only want to keep maybe a row of them and i did set these to one right yeah and this i need to get a little closer i'm sure yeah it's got way too many i only need one row there we go 
I need one slot of them there. <laughs> okay, and then if I land, I hope these are set up. Yeah, just one slot, one slot, one slot. Good. Uh, have I learned super magnetic rings? Yes, yes I have. And have I learned the geothermal? No, I have not. Never mind. Yes, I have learned the geothermal. So this guy should be making geothermal. And he should have everything he needs except for the super magnetic rings because we're not making those yet. Okay. Uh, so how are we doing over here on fidget spinners and stuff? Uh, wow, we've got a hundred of them. And we've got tons of these hats. Good. Okay. So now I can set these to just auto fill 10 of them. Yes, you can have all the drones. Boom. Can I like shift click, control click, so it just does it to all of them. So some people like to set it up to where like only the places that are collecting or like demanding items get drones. I like for every single one of them to have drones, a full complement of them, because I don't want speed of drones to be a problem. Uh, so I like to just fill them all with the drones and let it sort itself out. Um, actually, that's a good question. Is this guy set up to only do one stack? Yes, it is. Perfect. We got everything coming in. Uh, our proliferator, our spray coater is doing good there. This guy is going to be super slow. It's going to be a problem. In fact, Fact. Yeah, it looks like getting the silicone into him is a problem. And so I'm going to upgrade this sorter to a Mark II. I think that might help. And I think I'm going to do the same to this sorter. But hey, we've got some solar. So I think what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to go lay down a bunch of solar and get our power situation a little better under control. Because, um, I mean, we're doing okay now. We're doing okay. But we need to, we need to get it more okay. All right. But for now, that's going to be it. My name is Luke. I am the Offensive Yak. Thank you for having joined me today and this week. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you do hit like and subscribe. If you want to know what kind of gear I'm actually rocking on all of this stuff, my computer and all that, and my peripherals and uh, mic and all that good stuff, I do have links down in the description. Yes, they're affiliate links. Uh, they're just Amazon. Um, feel free to use them if you want. If you don't, no biggie. If you don't want to just see what it is and then go get the stuff on your own, go for it. But, uh, you know, I figure if I'm going to put links, I may as well make them affiliate links. <laughs> All right, guys. Offensive yak out.